hello, my name is Ollie and this is Book Draw. For those who don't know, I enjoy looking at queer fiction and creating little artworks around it. Today I am going back to looking at actual books. It's been a while it's because I've been doing lots of different things which I wanted to talk about. For example, I am going to be at Blackpool at the ICW to uh, Provocations, which is an exhibition featuring various different queer artists and I was invited along to um, present a piece from the Book Draw project. Uh, so that's uh, really exciting and I'm going to go and be seeing a show after um, called Circa, which should be really interesting. It's going to be an outdoor piece of work in a graveyard, so that's kind of scary and interesting. In the meantime, I want to just update you in terms of some books which I thought were quite fun and interesting because I've had a run of kind of various uh, more emotionally driven books, so I thought some other fluffier different lighter books, although the first one's not so light, but just, you know. I'm looking at a cluster of books under the theme of Magic. The first one that I'm looking at is Of Bodies Changed by Cliff James. This is a beautiful little book. Uh, it's very different. The one thing uh, also to highlight is that it's a self-published book um, by feedery.com. Um, so I, just in that in itself, being a self-published book, I thought was really cool. But then when I actually read the book, I kind of fell in love with it. I think it's um, a brilliant little read. Uh, it focuses on the relationship between uh, Jackie and her trying to find out about uh, the history of her brother. They've been kind of separated for a long time. And so she's um, going back and she's talking to some previous friends about um, all the things that she's kind of missed out on. It looks at uh, themes of religion, but it's kind of surrounded in this more uh, mystical, fantastical element, which you don't know if it's um, kind of made up thoughts of uh, Christopher and <laughs> his friendship group, because they're quite enmeshed with each other. and it's not necessarily healthy and you don't know if they're kind of influencing each other in the way that they think and feel or if it's uh, true in terms of um, the, the reality in which they're living and the spirits that are kind of challenging them and attacking them in different ways. Uh, so it does have a little bit of everything which I really enjoyed. It also has these lovely descriptions of Yorkshire and the surrounding area which I just uh, thought were beautifully kind of captured. As a whole book it's grappling with all sorts of different things, but pretty good. The next one, I don't have uh, a, I guess it'd be here. The next one is um, <laughs> The Roots of Passion, which is by Anne Roberts. I don't have uh, the cover of the book with me anymore because I got it from the library. I was just having like a little walk around. I got myself a coffee, I got some food, uh, and then I went downstairs and it was just there on display. Uh, and I saw Roots of Passion. I was like, oh, that's an interesting purple book. And I liked the kind of typeface of it. It reminded me actually of um, uh, Death Becomes Her in terms of that kind of comical B movie type style. And uh, when I was reading it, it is kind of like that. Uh, it was escapism fluff. Um, <laughs> it was kind of one dimensional, but I just thought it was worth highlighting because also I. I uh, hadn't actually heard of Bella Books, which is a lesbian-focused um, publisher over in America, so there's, I'm probably sure a load of you have heard of it before, I've just not come across it before. Um, but the, so the story focuses on Grace Owen, and she's a very kind of controlled, conservative individual. She's a surgeon, she's got a very strict routine the way she, she lives her life, but then her friend Margot, an air hostess, she goes off and she explores and she's free living, um, goes into a little kind of shanty shop and she picks up this root of passion uh, and then uh, she gives it to her as a gift and initially she's not having any of it, she doesn't want to know, um, but then uh, events happen which makes her um, take a sip of the root of passion and again you don't know if it's like um, supposed to be uh, magical realism or if it's just a complete fake uh, and uh, is a kind of a placebo f effect um, but basically it kind of works on Grace and she really loosens up and she uh, <laughs> has lots of adventures and it's but it's about the consequences of her being so spirited and free. The last book that I wanted to talk about was Carry On by Rainbow Rowell and um, I just really enjoyed this book. I thought it was 
uh, such good fun. Like, if you enjoy the Harry Potter series and the Harry Potter world, I think you'll be quite content with this, especially if you are someone who is of the LGBT spectrum. Having a, a queer voice added into the mix does help. <laughs> um, this book focuses on Simon, which I believe is this character here, uh, and he is going to school and shares a room with his kind of frenemy arch nemesis, Baz, who has in various different ways uh, caused him conflict and grief throughout the years, they end up having to kind of team up and work together. I had a great time with the story. Harry On is uh, a kind of continuation of the novel Fangirl, and a Fangirl basically is the love of uh, the universe which is shared by Simon and Barry. This entire book was created out of it, and I just thought that was incredibly cool. I know this one has done quite a lot of rounds on the um, booktubing universe um, but I only read this last year uh, <laughs> but when I did I was just smiling all the way through it is just great fun so those are the three that I have done for uh, my kind of magic cluster I might revisit magic in the future I've just got heaps of different books which I've kind of put together in little kind of groups so that when I start doing uh, drawings um, or I'm actually going to start looking at possibly doing some other things than just the kind of textile stuff because I want to kind of mix it up and explore it in different ways. I was having a, a discussion with my friend and they were saying like It's basically good for what else have you got? So it's like Um, I don't know. <laughs> because I've been just kind of doing it in one trajectory so I think it's probably about time that I uh, tried something else, something a bit different. As I've said, this is an evolving channel. I only started in February, so I'm just kind of exploring where I'm taking it, but it, I will be doing some arty based stuff with it. Uh, feel free to check me out on all the social media, and um, there it is, links below and in the description at the end. Um, I will see you again soon. This has been great fun. Okay, catch you later. Bye!